Ladies and gentlemen, you're still watching the Sanduguan, the official 2018 Filipino coverage of the International. I'm General Tuna, joined by my new set of panel members. We've got the Midnight Tihi and of course Uda. And game number one, just like that. Tapos na ang game one. We might have three, ay two or four more games to go. Or five. Or five. This is a best of five series, mga kaibigan. So let's just talk about game number one. Tapos na. And uh, how does it feel for a team na, alam mo yun, yung uh, lamang na kayo ng one game eh. Mm -hmm. So what happened in game number one? Simulan natin sa'yo, Midnight. I just think that yung, characteriz yung characterization ng teams natin kanina, it work in this game. Kasi ang dami ng, ano yun, ang daming draft holes nila dito. Eh. Kung baga, ang daming butas na pwedeng abusuhin ng LGD. Mm -hmm. And dito mo makikita na they're still able to abuse it. Kasi nakuha nila early game lead, hindi nga kayang pumalag ng OG in the early phase. Pero pumasok tayo sa point na every weakness, every strengths ng Every player sa OG side, even the heroes, na consider nila, and they just gel well together. Kung maga lahat ng team fight nila walang tapon, walang sayang na initiation. Kung maga, it's basically OG playing superior over LGD. So this is OG at the top of their game. Yeah, it's basically the kung magkong ibibigay mo tong lineup sa ibang team, it might be. Well, may chance sila manalo, pero siguro sobrang ano nene. Sobrang slim. Sobrang slim and close yung game. Pero dito OG showed that they are playing at the top of their form nga. And it's very hard to execute this trap. Medyo may mga conditions yung LGD. They can't afford to make so much mistake. Dahil yung mga heroes nila, it's not scaling. It's not, it doesn't scale well against the Spectre. Pero, ano eh, the ability to translate the early game disadvantage to late game capability ng OG. It's very hard to do that. And siguro, ano na talaga dito eh, it's just a matter of the team having so uh, a good of a chemistry. Uh -huh. And that's just OG showing uh, LGD that they're the dominant team. Dominant team. So we're talking about dominance here in uh, game number one. Tihi, your take on that game number one. Uh, nakita naman natin yung picks ng OG. Superior team fight. And then, pumik sila ng ad pick na offlane Triant, which is, hindi, na, hindi nila in-expect yung laning stage. But then na comeback sila somehow, kasi pagkapik nila na trend ang aim nila is ipanish yung Bloodseeker lane. But then they went with a ad laning stage nilagay nila sa Enchantress sa mid. Na sobrang weird considering na off lane siya and then si Storm nilagay nila sa safe lane. Then ang nilagay nila sa off lane na lane is si Bloodseeker, which is nawa nila yung mga parang favorable matchup. I would say. But then. Sobrang na mix and match yung laning phase natin mm -hmm. sa simula pa lang para yep. sa side ng OG. Na kumbaga disadvantage para sa Trian, wala siyang magawa ay Storm hindi siya yeah. pwedeng dumikit. Mm -hmm. Pero I think that's the downfall then of the mm -hmm. uh, mix and match nga kasi you have the match ng Bloodseeker and Spectre na it doesn't really go well for the Bloodseeker kasi yes, you can sustain the lane pero you're giving Spectre so much ano, early game mm -hmm. capability. Kumbaga napabilis yung kahit pa sabihin nating ilang beses siyang nagang ilang beses na delay in timings niya. Kung titingnan natin yung laning stage, lumabas siya na magandang stack niya kasi it's not as uh, it's not as, it's not as punishing as the Enchantress lane. Kumaga he had a free farm. Technically he had a free farm against the Bloodseeker. So uh, well said, Ati and uh, Midnight Uda, your take on game number 1. So yung sa OG kasi yung early game medyo na logi sila eh. Mm -hmm. Then syempre nakuha naman nila yung comfortable na care nila which is the Spectre. Spectre kasi yun yung gamit nila. Since nung naarang game din, dyan sila ang portable na i-pick eh. Mm. Kasi more on, yung OG ngayon, recently, may pick sila ng mga snowball heroes talaga na sumasama talaga sa, early, sa bandang mid-game agad eh. Mm -hmm. Then nakuha naman nila yung Spectre, then nag-try sila ng bago na trend. Na mm -hmm. medyo nahirapan sila ng early game, na dapat lalamang sila sa early game. Pero nakabawi naman kaya yung Spectre, nakabawi at talagang nag-dominate din sa larong to. So, Doon mo makikita yung team chemistry. Oh, the ability oh. to kill a storm spirit na wala silang hold. They only wala, have the earth shaker. Earth shaker. Wala oh, silang earth shaker hold. hold. And ilang beses nilang ginawa yun. Ang daming times na it's not supposed to happen for LGD. Mm -hmm. Pero because of the team chemistry na meron ng OG, kinaya nila. It's like mid-zip. I think that was mid-zip. He dropped the echo slam right there to Miguel yung storm spirit. Binatuhan niya ng Fisher, ng Enchant Totem, and then they just dominated Somnus. Pero eto storm spirit na to, Somnus actually used the storm spirit game number two yeah. against OG kahapon. Mm -hmm. And, and nanalo, sila. They, nanalo sila. Pero this time, siguro nabasa na rin siguro yeah. ng OG. Kilala na namin. Oh, kilala na namin kayo. We know Somnus is very... Uh, 
ay capable of using uh, the Storm Spirit. Sobrang, alam mo yung sobrang mobile na hero na very flashy. Yeah. No? So, uh, speaking of game number one, here's some of our uh, post-game stats. And uh, let's go to the specifics on what happened here. Uh, may kita natin dito OG uh, in terms of uh, net worth, in terms of damage dealt, nasa kanila yung alas. But we can see Thompson here dealing 25, almost 26,000 damage mm -hmm. dun sa side ng OG. And that's just Thompson playing the yeah. compact hero talaga. Monkey King. Monkey King. Uh, yun nga eh, parang you think about how LGD wanted to play this game. They wanted to find the perfect matchups para sa kanila. They uh, didn't want to storm spirit against the Monkey King. Pero you're, you're technically saying na, okay Thompson, uh, get your game. Baga, it's a Monkey King game eh. Uh -oh. So kapag hindi mo kinounter tong game nito just because of that, uh, just because of the fact that you need to switch up the lanes, you're actually giving Thompson the, uh, the free win kasi it's a uh, comfort here and at the same time hindi mo pinansin so yun talaga it's a uh, it's a matter of uh, the matchups na nakuha ng LGD it's not favorable for them so narinig kita ni na Nabin, we're you're talking about the weakness of the drafts for both teams pero ito for the side of OG do you, do you think ano yung dapat na weakness na inexploit ng LGD dun sa lineup ng OG I think they did they did exploit the uh, draft hole kasi if you think about OG how do they really fight against the mid game of Storm Spirit and Bloodseeker? Mm -hmm. Pero that's the ano, that's the answer now for OG. We don't. We just sustain. They have the Trent, they have the Winter Wyvern. Who pushes on the side of LGD? Technically none. So you have to wipe the whole squad of OG for you to push. Pero meron silang Trent protector, mm -hmm. so no split push can happen. So at the same time, top zone, siya talaga yung space creator for Ana Rido. Talagang binigyan niya lang ng lahat ng space na makukuha niya. And like, just like Jules said, yung comeback mechanic ni Spectre mm -hmm. dito, hindi nga nagmukhang comeback mechanic kasi he had a f he had farm. Tapos sumasama siya sa mga mid-fight engagements. Kung maga lahat ng kaya nilang itake, tinitake nila. In mm -hmm. oh, just because of the uh, performance na binigyan ng LG dito, they wanted the matchups na hindi nila nakuha. Medyo na slow down yung mm -hmm. tempo. So yung mid-game, technically never came. Never came. Them. So ah. after, the, uh, after the early game, Nag may konting mid-game na napunish yung uh, OG kasi nakuha pa rin naman LG dito lead. Pero after that, it's the Spectre show. So it's the it's just the Ana show. Yeah, it's just the Ana uh, show. Hanggang matapos. Pero, well, uh, commendable performance from OG. But we have to commend a specific player. Yeah. Who will be your, who will be your MVP para dito? Uda, simula natin sa'yo. MVP, your take. Para sa akin, si, sa, si Ana pagdating sa bandang late game eh. Pero para sa si Thompson eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi siya yung nagbigay ng space. Kasi kung hindi rin naman maganda yung performance sa bandang mid game. Hindi rin naman magka-space yung Spectre dito eh. Yeah. Kasi kung sabihin na natin, Spectre nga nagdala ng game. Pero kung hindi naman magandang game nung Monkey King natin, talagang hindi rin, uh, hindi rin magka-spotlight yung Spectre dito yeah. pagdating sa raid game. Pi, para sa'yo. Will you go for Thompson uh, as well? No, Jerax. Oh, yeah. Jerax, the J-God. <laughs> Kasi parang yung ad pick nila na Trent Protector, I think, uh, tinanan nila mabuti. Bakit? Kasi, imbis na ang offline ni Seb na kumukuha ng farm which is yung mga enchantress those mm -hmm. kinds of offline center but then na split yung farm kasi hindi kumukuha ng farm si Trent eh. mm -hmm. so parang mas napabilis yung blink timing ni Jerax oh, oh, so yeah. parang mas nagkaroon siya ng impact sa game so Jerax uh, how about you Midnight? I'd have to go for Jerax the boss the boss of this man to go for those one man egos mm -hmm. especially <laughs> on the uh, storm spirit ang hirap nun ah oh, you, don't know, you don't know where the storm spirit will land to blindly use the Echo Slam on a Storm Spirit na nag-zip, invulnerable, mm -hmm. to predict kung saan siya la lalapag, ang hirap nun. Mm -hmm. Kung maga, this is the show na nothing matters eh, for Jerax. All that matters is that he hits the stun, mm -hmm. he disables a hero, and OG uh, capitalizes on the uh, opening. Kung maga, sabi ni Jerax ito, sige, ako magbibigay ng lahat ng opening, mm -hmm. i-capitalize niya lang. So like, uh, like uh, you said guys, we got uh, one uh, top son, Dalawang Jerax, but I think for me I have to go for Topson. Given it's his first time, uh, it's his first time playing in TI. Yung total earnings niya prior to this Grand Finals match is only three thousand dollars. <laughs> Sobrang minuscule. Sobrang liit lang. And uh, right now, if uh, they manage to win TI, that's eleven million dollars mm -hmm. from three K to eleven million. That's a lucky <laughs> jump, na yun, yeah. And of course, given a uh, Hindi lang naman OG my first timer. We've got LGD having mm -hmm. first timers as well. Exnova they have Exnova and Chalice. 
And I think mga kaibigan natin dito, they're rooting for the Southeast Asian Pride, yeah. Exnova. Yeah, definitely. Uh, especially uh, si Rain. <laughs> uh-huh. She yeah. is, uh, she roots for LGD. Pero ako kasi I go for those uh, parang yung mga magical run. Kasi oh. Thompson is one of those uh, players na you don't really imagine winning a TI. Mm. A TI. Yes. LGD can definitely win TI. Pero the OG squad, ito yung squad na nawala si Fly at si S4. S4. Na major rough yung start. Mm-hmm. They went through the qualifiers and sila yung nandito the grand finals it's a magical run eh. kumaga they, this guy Cinderella run, run. Yeah. Oh, Cinderella, Cinderella run I, do you think we can compare this year's OG to TI6's uh, Digital Wings. Chaos uh, I, I prefer the Wings the, the Wings Gaming mm-hmm. ah because ano, eh, yes they've won tournaments before TI but prior to that no but expected ah, them to yes. win to actually win yeah because yeah. they're still considered tier 2 team mm-hmm. then suddenly nung dumating yung group stage nobody was able to read Ko ano ginagawa ng wings game? Magana na si Rala ng prediction. Oh, or si Rala. True, true. And uh, for me, I take yung uh, digital chaos team din kasi like they're the team of washouts. Ah, yeah, washouts yeah, yeah. from secret, washouts from uh, EG and uh, and the like, de ba? So kung bakas sila na yung mga members sa patapun, mm-hmm. so they form the team. They managed to uh, go second place at TI6. But I think nakita na natin puma pasok ng mga players on the boat. The draft will be uh, coming soon. Pero ito, LGD, what adjustments should they make in order to uh, take this series 1-1 midnight? I think they have to shut down Ana. Kasi ito talaga yung, ano, ito talaga yung parang pillar ng OG. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's basically Topson making space for Ana. Lahat ng utility hero binibigay sa kanya, mm-hmm. uh, with the exception of the invoker. Uh, Jerax, he's the uh, enabler para kay Topson na magawa yung space na yun. Just to give Ana the uh, the right to farm. Kasi if you look at the past matchups ng uh, OG, it's basically form, the four guys giving Ana space. Talagang laban at laban. Kung mag-feed man tayo, okay lang. Basta Ana gets his item. Medyo nakita natin yung EG, OG uh, match na yun. Yung mm-hmm. uh, specter ni Ana talagang kung farm lang. Kahit nag-feed na yung mga kasama niya, kahit beyond god like na si Sumail, talagang tatag lang. Farm lang yung specter. Then they have, they took the win. So it's basically Ana uh, farming for uh, OG. Ito yung recipe to success nila. Recipe, it's Ana. It's yeah, Ana it's himself. Ana. Pag, uh, pag napugo nila si Ana, then they can go to Topson. Topson. And then one, one, one by one. Oh. One player at a time. Yun. Uh, that's so uh, what you wanted to say. But uh, Tihi, for you, LGD adjustments na kailangan nilang gawin dito. For me, kailangan nila mafigure out kung anong better specter counter. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang nakikita ko lagi. Masya-shutdown mo siya sa early game. Should then, they just, kaka- just ban specter? Ah. Uh, Pwede rin, pero I don't think na kailangan mo siyang iban. Yeah, it's not ban. Kasi like you're wasting uh, a mm, slot, eh, no? You're yeah. wasting a ban slot. Ang dami kasing heal ng OG. Kailangan nila, mafi- kailangan nila mafigure out. Kasi parang every time na siya na-shutdown nila, nakaka-comeback siya every team fight. Parang makakuha siya ng 2 yeah. or 3 kills. Then, wow, suddenly <laughs> may manta na siya doon sa next team fight. Then, may regions na. May regions na. Magugulat then, ka na lang. Mm, Pag-click mo, no? May <laughs> regions na. Then, secondly, siguro wag nilang bigyan si Jerox ng uh, Earth Shaker or Earth Spirit. Mm-hmm. Kailangan make sure may makuha sila kahit isa man lang doon kasi parang hindi ko nagustuhan yung FY Elder Titan. Mm-hmm. Laging nasa yeah, backline, parang yeah. spirit stun, that's it. Wala, wala yung na room, out room na siya. Oh, wala, oh. wala siyang flashy play doon. Uh, hindi signature FY. Uh-huh. So uh, Uda, for you, adjustments ng LGD. Kailangan ng LGD kasi ngayon is pigi- number one, pigilan nila si Ana. Nagagawa naman nila sa early game eh, pero hindi nila na may maintain dahil sa binibigay na space nung mga kampi niya. Mm-hmm. So sa akin, kailangan pagka-shutdown nila kay Ana ng early game, ma-maintain nila na sa mid-game, mag-shutdown nila yung ibang kampi niya, hindi lang si Ana, kasi talaga nag-shine yung mga kampi ni Ana pagkating mid-game eh. Then si Ana tumataba talaga. Kung mapapansin sa bawat game, hindi nila na-shutdown si Ana pagkating sa mid-game eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi talagang kampi niya gumagawa ng space, mm-hmm. kaya kailangan ng LGD dito na sa mid-game, huwag nilang kalimutan na yung kampi niya pigilan nila mag-shine kasi mm-hmm. talagang si Ana nakapag-prefirm talaga sa bawat laro lalo na specular gamit niya talagang kaya bumuhat ng team eh. so it's like maugulat ka na lang ay naku kas- may specter pa palang kasali oh, dito yun. kanina pa natin kinakalaban tong apat may specter pa sila na hindi sumasama sa team fight yep. diba? I think yung worst play nila against the specter was that game ito sa perfect example mm-hmm. kasi hindi talaga nila napigilan entirely yung so specter uh, so they did not shut down so uh, recipe for success shut down Ana so, titingnan natin dito sa game number two if they could actually uh, capitalize on that uh, thing na si Ana yung kailangan nila shut down. If Ana falls, the rest of OG falls as well. Yeah. Also, Pero, give maybe the last pick. 
Oh, yun. Kasi hindi naging maganda yung laro niya kanina. Yes, he was he was able to dodge the lane of Monkey, pero it was not mm-hmm. it was not the start that maybe is uh, comfortable with. Level with. six eh. Ah, mm-hmm. yeah. Kasi since the wedding today. And ito ah, uh, para para dito sa game number two, OG they are up by one. Yung pressure nasaan? I think the pressure is definitely on LGD. OG is the team that doesn't really uh, doesn't really mind the pressure. This is historically the team that uh, has been always on the pressure. Because the mm. majors, they're always on the line. They're always pressured to win the majors. Kung baga, sanay na sanay na itong mga to sa pressure. With the exception of uh, Topson, because it's the first time first that time. he's playing yeah. in the main stage. But to be able to play on such high pressure situations like that, and nakarating na sila dito, wala na sa kanilin. It's basically them having uh, having uh, to reset every game. nagre reset sila, so they don't mind. Uh, playing the games na after that wala tayong isipin. Oh. So tihi para sa the pressure. Where is the pressure? Nasa LGD ba o nasa OG? Uh, nasa LGD kasi sila yung parang ine-expect mag-champion. Mm-hmm. Kasi you know the tradition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the China tradition champion. Kaya uh, LGD. Mm-hmm. Uh Uda, LGD ka rin. LGD rin. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me Kasi pero sa pred- prediction kasi mm-hmm. yung kalaban mo lamang din ng 1-0 eh. Yeah. Iba, iba yung feeling kapag best of, best of 5 then talagang 1-0 na yung kalaban nyo talagang isipin nyo kailangan makaba. Manalo kami dito kasi hindi pwede mag 2-0 kasi pag 2-0 tapos race to 3 lang talagang So parang if you're they are one win away from winning TI8 mm-hmm. and then this is just not any other not any tournament this is the most the biggest and the grandest tournament in uh, the year after nung DPC. Ito yung culmination. Yeah. Ito yung Pasko ng Dota. Mm-hmm. Eh, speaking yung Pasko ng Dota, game number two, the draft is on, the game is in, at wag na natin patagalin to mga kaibigan. Ito, ito, look at Sebastian oh. there. He's just oh. smiling. Spectre ban. LGD. <laughs> first ban. This is classic China. They, they don't mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> if you can like counter it, if you have so, if you have nothing against it, just mm-hmm. ban it. Just ban it entirely. First. Kasi wala ka naman ng time para yeah, mag-figure yeah, yeah, yeah. out kung anong pangungontra mo eh. So, ban mo na lang. Yeah. Ito yung ginagawa nila sa Liquid eh. All Chinese teams, after mm-hmm. the group stage, they first ban Broodmother against them. This is a classic, classic China. You're in the middle of the series, so wala kang magawa, ban it out. Mm-hmm. Don't don't try to solve, to solve it in the middle of the game. Huwag kang maging ma-pride sa yeah. Team Secret. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, Team <laughs> Secret actually. Like, Shots did fired. it twice! They Brood did mother. it twice. They opened Broodmother game one and game two. They paid the price. I think they're the team that has the worst win record against Broodmother. <laughs> against yes. Broodmother. Because they always win. They're so stubborn. Nila stubborn nila. So OG. Actually, they banned out the Tiny and the Drow Ranger. So Tihi, wala nang Drow Ranger game. And I think uh, uh, you should salamat, be happy for this. Salamat, yeah. <laughs> Pero alam mo. Well. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Silencer. OG actually banned out the Silencer. Uh, it's usually the other way around. The opposing teams of OG usually ban the the three uh, heroes of mm-hmm. No Tail, the Nature's Prophet, the Chen, and the Silencer. But they opt to ban the Silencer out this game. So maybe they they want to run an Ursa lineup or even the Vengeful Spirit. Maybe. Wait, or uh, ten seconds remaining. Bane. Uh, actually, Bane. Bane is good as well. Initiator. Initiator. Yeah, Initiator. But LGD, they're taking their time. On to their uh, third ban. Oh, Nature's Prophet. Sinabi mo kanina, Nature's Prophet. OG. It's the Trinity ni No Tail. Every Trinity game, lagi, no? Kapag <laughs> nakuha niya yung tatlong hero na yan, talaga, wala, sana, eh. wala kang pag-asa sa laning stage kapag nakuha ni No Tail yung hero na yan. Napakamot niya. At uh, titignan natin dito, OG. Opening picks nila. Pinaka-inaabang ako dito kung sinong una pipick ng Archie. Ah. Yeah. Oh! Wow. <laughs> so, so that's why they banned out the side. They want the Iron and Gyro. Gyro. I, I think they can. So. Oh, Enchantress. Oh, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. the Earth Shaker. There goes the Earth Shaker. Oh, the guy in the helicopter for OG. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, they have run this as well. PSG, the uh, OG LGD lineup has run the IO Gyrocopter multiple times, and against, especially against Chinese teams. Alam nila kung paano gumagana tong combination na to. We've seen Ana take a whole game ju- with just one hero. So, nandun yung possibility na yung LGD is sobrang threatened with the IO and Gyrocopter combination. So, may chance na baka mag double down sila dito. Ag- yung counter sila i double down nila against the Gyrocopter and IO. But LGD. Minasa kanila na yung Earthshaker. And uh, we all know FY. 
medyo nagdo-dominate din siya while you see uh, using earth shaker Mar marami siyang highlight reels yep. using earth shaker just look at the respect from LGD all four heroes respect pugna <laughs> Oh, man. But the same side, the same can be said naman on the side of OG. OG they Storm still Spirit, or Spirit or nila. Oh, kahit natalo nila, no? They oh, still ban uh, it out. Uh, may more. Oh, like, wag, wag, wag mayabang. This is Grand Finals. Yung uh, gyro counter, makuha yung flank cannon. Oh, may yeah. ito na. Chalice, 19 max skills and 594 max GPM. The highest is Sumail with 38, I think. 33? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 or 38. Oh, our pilot band member. Yeah, res respect. Et, eto yung kumuambak, eto yung kumuambak yeah, na yeah, Arquard din yeah. eh. Na trauma, yeah. na trauma na sila. I think they're actually having PTSDs, like if they see Arquard din. <laughs> so the, the question for me is who does uh, LGD give Ame? Because you're you're facing a Gyro and Ayo, so you're thinking about the matchups. You're thinking about the possible carries this Ten game, and I can I can only think of three possible heroes for Ame, but I I don't think he plays it that well. Uh, I can only think about links when I see this. Two yeah, I don't really. You know, it's a sick links, and they go for the Bain. Nawa nila si Bain. Do you think a hero na pweding al? I penetrate yung backline ng OG para kunin yung IO kasi magiging sakit sa ulo yung IO as long uh, as IO is alive they I think you carry nila or kung sino man yung nakatether kasi kanino man nakatether yung IO buhay din ah uh, kasi ko skilling siguro possibly pang backline yeah, but even IO. that even that it's not looking good kasi you, if you're gonna pick links in this phase you're gonna get countered mhm mm mm -hmm. sino ba sino first pick kanina uh, the first pick was OG OG last pick LGD yeah the purest counter sa OG is the last pick sumay. Yeah. Ah, last pick sumay. Last pick, maybe. Bandin yung Storm dito. Wala silang pang huli. Ay, oh yeah, the next Nova. Actually, a silencer and dying next Nova dito. Undefeated still with 3-0. Oh. And invoker ni Thompson. Nilabas ng OG. May sentiments exactly. Yung galaw ni invoker na gumaganon. <laughs> Nakataas yung kamay. I think this is the boldest invoker pick that oh I've ever my. seen. Oh my! Third pick, pick no. invoker! Nakita niya na kasi yung support siya. It's just Bane and ES. It doesn't really Five do much ag against him in the laning stage. Yes, ma they were they are able to gank you, pero you're you're gonna see it from a mile away. And knowing Topson, he's able to play around the uh, heroes of LGD, pero the answer from them will be the Phantom Lancer. Phantom Lancer. But the uh, OG has got to be really, really confident about this uh, invoker pick. Do you really like Phantom Lancer against Ayo and Gyrocopter? Mm. Usually teams try to avoid the Phantom Lancer against the Ayo Gyrocopter. Actually, it's okay, pero parang medyo seconds, medyo over lang. Yeah, kasi kung, ano, kung Phantom Lancer, you're banking on uh, OG failing their early game. Mm -hmm. Tapos mag-transition tayo to the late game wherein hindi ka na, mad, hindi ka na mapatay, hindi ka na mahawakan ng Gyrocopter. But then again, you still have control from Topson and he's gonna play definitely the Quaswex. Mm -hmm. Quaswex lagi yun, kahit against me. Yeah, and ilang beses nang nalaro ni Topson to matchup to, especially ng qualifiers. He, he's faced three Phantom Lancers in the middle lane, where he, wherein uh, he built the Quaswex Invoker and he won all three games. Uh -huh. So, OG, who will be their fourth? Oh, masaya si yep. maybe ah. Medyo... Baka may ano na siya. May plan. May plan. <laughs> oh. Pure ano siya, purest last pick siya. So baka meron na siyang mm -hmm. hero in mind. Okay yung last. Pwede yung okay, Viper. Okay, game mo na sa akin yan. Give it to I me. I don't think maybe plays Viper. He's one Kaso, of those oh. players na parang sumili. Gusto niya yung oh, stellar yeah, mid. Yeah. Siguro ko ibang team no, Viper. Pero oh. pag saan niya, gusto niya yung talagang explosive talaga. Yeah. Gusto niya kanya siya yung parang highlight reel. Mala highlight reel yeah. din yung galaw. It works naman for for uh, maybe. Kasi talagang stellar player naman siya. Mm. For OG. Uh, I actually consider a uh, Timber so off lane para sa kanila. It's great against the Bane, Earthshaker, Air and Phantom Lancer. Mm -hmm. But not oh, great against Enchanters. Uh, not great against Enchanters. Their time. But definitely, you can build, you can go the Blade Mill route. But they can scale. <laughs> ah, yun lang. But if, ano if you're banking on scaling, you're not really gonna be able to against PL because you have Ayo Gyrocopter and Invoker. Yes, you have Invoker for the late game, but you can't really uh, rely on that because there's a lot of catch ng LGD. So they can double down in the early game. Oh, Underlord. Oh, Underlord. Ito, one of the ano din, natural counters kay Phantom Lancer. Early game, you're nothing against the Underlord. You're basically, you basically don't exist to him. Kahit Phantom Lancer, you ka, hindi not ka ni uh, Underlord this game. 
Ito lang ah, OG. They actually have two heroes where uh, they can actually pop in and pop out anytime they want sa buong mapa. They've got the Underlord na Reality Rift and of course the IO Relocate. Yeah. Idagdag mo pa yung tankiness na pwedeng i-provide dito ng Underlord, the Atrophy Aura, may minus damage dun sa side ng LGD. Pero knowing LGD naman, they know how Underlord works. They were one of those uh, teams na inabuso nila si Underlord last year. Kasi the ability mm -hmm. to, to move around the map whenever you take objectives and whenever you finish team fights, ano yun, mabilis na objective yun para sa kanila. So they might OG understand how OG is gonna move back. around this game. Pero I don't think the, the heroes on their side is enough to deal with the lineup of OG. Baka makakita tayo ng Dark Rift play. Oh, oh LGD pa lang ang pausa nun. Tapos si Boslan yung casta, no? Teka lang! LGD, last ban, Winter Wyvern. Ang ganda ng pagkaban ng Wyvern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, basic. Nung nakita ko tong apat na hero ng LGD tsaka OG, I'm I'm rooting for OG already. Yeah. Kasi once na na-build, na nakabuo na ng Crimson Guard si Underlord, I don't know how LGD can deal damage. True. Oh, a Huskar last ban for OG. There's literally no damage. No more counters for OG. I was thinking that maybe can last pick the Huskar. Last pick Huskar. OG with a perfect raid. Who really deals with the Invoker? Who deals with the Underlord? And who deals with the Ayo and Gyrocopter? It's gonna be a very hard game for LGD. It's an uh, uh, an uphill climb, climb para dito sa side ng LGD. Rin. Yeah, it's a reflection of game one where na ipit na naman yung LGD. Kahit last pick sila dito, ipit sila sa draft. Oh, oh, oh disruptor. disruptor. Team fight. Team fight. Talaga. Na na mga dead heroes. They're going all in on this one. They wanted a 2-0 lead, and if they do. Medyo komplikado yung Game 3. Pagdating ng Game 3, medyo komplikado na para sa side ng LGD. Disruptor is really good against Phantom Lancer. Hindi natatanggal yung uh, Thunder Strike. So kapag lumabas ka sa double ganger mo, markado ka pa rin. So OG will know who the, Phantom, who the, the real, real Phantom, Phantom Lancer, Lancer is. Ah, Lancer is. Kung ka. Kung ka. Eto na. They just want to delay the game to the point na makakalaban na yung Phantom Lancer. But I, I don't think it's gonna be enough considering that there's an Underlord in the table for OG. Mm -hmm. So, uh, kung ka, ito din yung hero na nag-rip na, nag ng EG, the Shreds, uh, eliminating them from the tournament. Pero nakita na natin itong draft natin from both teams. Game number two. Can LGD take back the momentum or OG will actually continue with a 2-0 lead? And I want to know your thoughts who will possibly win game two sa draft natin. It's not the classic LGD that you see that they give Somnus the purest of uh, the last big counter. The, the conga is just to delay the game until to the point na makata makahalaban nga yung Phantom Lancer. So I'll have to give it to OG just because of the tempo na kanila lineup. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tihi? I think I have to go for LGD. Bakit? Kasi parang na-counter nila yung, na niya yung two heroes. Or at least like three heroes. Uh, the, yung point na magda-dark rift ka, may X mark. Mm -hmm. uh, Disruptor glimpse, X mark mo sarili mo. Or X mark mo yung kampi mo mag-glimpse. So, I have to go for LGD. So, we got OG, LGD, uh, Uda. Sa akin naman OG. Based OG. on the comfort na draft nila. Kasi yung OG, lagi sila ano eh. 5 man eh. Then, ang ganda ng 5 man rotate, ng 5 man lineup nila. So, dalawang OG, isang LGD, and I'm here to break the ice. I'm going for LGD just to prevent the caster's curse from happening. At least, pag nanalo man yung OG, 50% lang sa atin. Pag nanalo yung LGD, 50% lang din. But, live from Rogers Arena, Vancouver, Canada, our casters, Wolf and Pau, take us away. Of OG versus LG, the grand final of the international. Kami nyo casters ang kapres si Wolf kasama si Pau. What? What a draft! What a draft! What a draft! Anina nakita natin na kakaiba yung draft ng OG. Yes. Pero ngayon comfort all the way. Jerax on the wisp and Topson. Yeah. The signature invoker. This is why I think it is indeed a good draft para sa OG. Kasi nag-evolve. Parang hindi yun kita ng hindi mo hindi yun action. Hindi ma action na pag draft. Pero it, it, itong drafting ng, ng between both these both two teams nag-evolve along the way, especially OG. No, tama. Makikita mo on the side of uh, LGD, medyo alam mo na kung ano yung gagawin nilang uh, opener. It, it's either they go for the 2-4 opener or for sure kukunin nila yung Enchantress. 
sa pinaka-early. Last game, nakita natin yung pick ng Trian Protector delayed the game so much na kahit na 6k advantage, ang dami nilang kills dahil hindi sila makakuha ng tore, hindi nila matapos yung laro. And from there, Ana took over this game. Yes. Medyo kakaiba. OG is going all in on the team fight. Tulad ng sabi ng ating panel, titignan natin if they can get a 2-0 tempo lead in this best of five. Which is very important. You know, ang sobrang nakaka-goosebumps kanina. We were watching this. Sinabi ni no, yung parang two years ago, merong TI archives na ginawa. At yung last words ni No Tail, sabi niya, if I were gonna play doon sa, sa TI... Play the, the best, best Dota of your life. And wow. so far, nakita natin, on Grabe. that Winter Wyvern, napakadami niyang ginawa. Even though sa simula, medyo shaky yung start nila in the lanes. Yes. Ang dami niyang ninalify na heroes on the side of LGD. Titignan natin oh. ngayon kung kaya nila. My goodness. Napakaganda. Statement sa uh, Sunstrike naman yeah. yun. Just to get the last hit for sure. Pa-importante makon ng range creep sa pares na heroes na to. Particularly sa Invoker, really want to get that early start in levels. I like the Undying, uh, the Underlord, I mean, na pick dito ng OG. Isa sa mga heroes na nakalimutan natin over the few months. But it was pretty strong the months before. But on a 2 one meta, hindi siya naging favored na offlaner. But right now, seems to me, because of 3 one na medyo nag-rise ngayon sa game na to. I think it's also yeah. uh, maganda rin yung uh, pwede nilang uh, gawin with, in terms of using that uh, abilities niya para makuha yung advantage sa mga team fights na napakaaga. Kahit saan, uy! Ooh. Napakaganda naman noon. Three hero uh, block here. And now it's a whole on fight. Ana, hinahabol. But X Nova, no, it will be PSG LGD with the first kill as Ana takes, hits the deck. Nova naman ang masusunod. One for one. You know, nagkapalitan dito ng Earth Shaker picks. Because both of them are really good. FY, Chassis Jerax, sa mga I would say, right now, top two na position four. Dalila sa grand final sila na TI8. But between these two, they. Nandito yung parang driving force mismo nung pares sa teams. I mean, the place you get from Jerax, naananalo ka rin. Same goes with FY. Tama ka dyan. Ito yung naano yung uh, Disruptor na to. And again, we've seen Disruptor na in the past, as at least in my mind, nung January at February na oh. Meta Games. Mobile team fight. And look, it looks like yun ang gustong ibalik dito. Parang throwback to na draft. Para oh. sa... Ano, para sa OG. Hindi lang yung casters natin na may throwback. Oh. Ano, na dito si Lord Jassi oh, Strike. Even OG now, playing to their strength. So, titignan natin kung kakayanin nila. LGD na ito natin uh, nung game 1. Ang galing nila talagang mag-lane, ha? Uh, all uh, in all fairness. But OG were better in terms of the mid-game yep. execution. Also, you must surprise na, na superstar performances. You can see, you definitely saw that with Jerax kanina. It would have been a different story talaga kung hindi ganun kalupit yung mga initiations niya. As cliche as it sounds, but up top, this is a tri lane versus tri lane. Hindi isikat sa meta natin before the TI and even the TI group stages and even the main stages. What makes it so that these two cores are, you know, very needed? This tri lane, but my man, no tail, very low. Jerax, but I think yung XP battle is gonna favor them for sure. Definitely, definitely, pero sa position na to. Ana took the kill there, and the but on the other side, the spill will be taken by the position for the LGD. So, OG getting the better of that, but it is still the, the early stages ng laban natin. I think this will come down to on the side of LGD once again. It falls on to uh, Somnus, nasa gitna, to get the advantage against the Invoker and then lead his team in his mid game. Otherwise, OG, sasagasaan na naman sila ng mga team fight dito kapag sure. dehado yung iba nilang race. Sure. Not only that, they have ma the heroes to deal with the heroes of LGD. Meron silang Gyro nice. and Underlord para sa PL. Sinabi rin yung ng panel natin kanina. And right now, if you're looking at the PL player, so sobrang pressure na siya dito. Ano yung mga kailangan niyang start sa game? Definitely needs a good start to transition into the mid and to the late game na mas maganda compared sa dito. Kasi, again, nasa disadvantage na siya kung core versus core lang yung labanan. One of the other peculiarities ng OG na Team Wolf, no? medyo kakaiba talagang hero sila, pero meron din silang uh, level of global presence palagi na available para sa anila. Yesterday, we saw them uh, take out LGD, sending them to the lower bracket yep. because of uh, the Arc Warden, Arc Warden and the Jerax combo oh. on the Earth Shaker. Kanina, That's... nakita natin sa draft, tinanggal yung uh, Spectre and the Arc Warden yep. naman. Ayaw nila kalaban yun. Who would have thought 
na, na ma sasaksihan natin yung mga games na first ban, first face ban ang Spectre. Dito lang yan, sa The International for sure. Kasi dito na, ano na eh, kapag Grand Finals na majority ng mga drafts din nag, naka-hinge towards ban, ano, deny picking o kaya banning out your opponents. Okay. Kailangan mo na talaga respetuhin. I mean, oy, ang ganda naman. Napakaganda para sa LGD. Now, Ana, load. Napakaganda feature din. But again, the Ayo might be able and might be enough to sustain Ana and it will be the case. Ito na yung turn around. Yun na nga. Exloba. Napani siya dito. Can they get more? Jeras, look at that. Sobbing in front of the enemy. At nabuhay na naman dito si Ana with full health once more. FY, doon sa likod gusto niya makakilang maka disruptor dito. Napakaganda feature but not gonna be enough. Now, Tether transfers to No-Tail and No-Tail survives. FY, Come Magic wand this game. Ito Ayon, pa. Kinig si Amin si Amin. na tapos Hindi po mabuhay. Ana again. Oh. Another usage ng Magic oh, Wand. No, Tether. Panalo pa rin. Buhay pa rin si Ana. Walang mamamatay sa OG. And mapanis sila si Exnova. Jerox sila ko yung kill spree. Chain feeding nagaganap. LGD. Sunod-sunod na pinakain. Pinataba ang OG. 2 to 6 now. And at this point, oh. kung ikaw ang, uh, ikaw ang OG, napaka-sitting pretty mo na in LGD, they need to pick themselves up. Masyadong uh, ina-underestimate nila yung ability ng uh, OG with yeah. their multiple uh, wands to oh. fight through all of the cooldowns itong LGD top lane. Ewan ko ah, pero kahapon yung LGD natalo sila sa Ayo kasi hindi mo nila pinapatay yung Ayo. It came to a part... To, to, to a time where sobrang bigyan ni Jeras but night, now si Ame na naman paparurutin dito there is gonna be Radiant no miss how to miss that's a doppelganger but again Dyer yesterday ginamit nila yung Huskar versus Iro Ayo Ayo Jaira I believe but hindi nila pinapatay time and time again yung Ayo muna and that happened kanina din they went for the Jaira they went for the Disruptor all they did was to be sustained by this Ayo. Oh no, top lane. Mamamatay for now si Ame. But they need to get a kill here now. On to the invoker. Return kill para dito. Medyo sinabi na nila sa sarili nila na medyo talagang lugi na tayo dito sa off lane natin. We need to get an advantage somewhere else. Otherwise, we will fall behind. Yep. Sebastian, former captain ng OG, making now. the transition ako top lane, nakakakaroon na naman ng balog ito na naman, 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 ito OG, na top lane TP dito, OB makakamatay, finally, two oh. kills ang kanilang makukuha for the price of one, Support and kills. LGD will finally figure out a way to survive this top lane. Yep. And the idea is to send the enchantress ngayon, Web lang alang, syempre, nagkaroon na free farm dito si Underlord. Having a great time. And you know what? Ito yung interesting pao. Kahit pa sabihin na natin na nanalo sa killing battle ang OG, CS department, nandito pa rin sa LGD. Siguro nga naman, dahil pinapwersa ng LGD, every time mga teamfights, hindi na rin nakakapag-mind ang OG na mag-take ng lasses dito. Yan, nakikita natin, mas lamang yung enchantress. And even yung PL na napapatay dun sa top, lamang pa rin doon sa gyrocopter. Kaya rin na kaya rin na isip ng LGD siguro na punta na lang yung resources nila sa ibang lane no yes. dahil they're doing really really well in their other laners sometimes you have to make sure na you capitalize on your strengths oh. top so no oh, ever no. na oh whoops had to go for another set of skills on the invo and yes. will reveal himself yes. dito and now Ame and Chalice wanting na lang pressure the tower wanting battery fingers na wala din pa ya Thompson it happens. It this happens. is the highest level of competition oh. ng Dota. Kailangan na kailangan. Konti na lang ang nagse-separate. The second place winner will take 4 million US dollars. The champion, 11 million dollars. Yep. And more, plus immortality. Now they would go for FY, syempre. May rocket barrage dito, but because of the presence of Exnova, mababa back dito ang OG. They're trying to chase. FY very low. But again, long-range fishers could be there. Tala si Somnus. Trying to toggle this way. No, it's actually not a toggle. Sobra taas sa talaga ng region niya. Sunstrike is imminent, but ayun, masyado nang ma ang haste din eh. Nakahaste din siya sa so, mahirap din. Mahirap din siya. And I think level 1 lang din yung exhort niya as of this moment. So, hindi mo rin, hindi rin pa talaga mataas yung damage no Sunstrike na yun. 2k gold lead na for LGD. Yes. Even as they trail 2 uh, kills dito. And LGD seemingly... Uh, 
fixing yung uh, laning deficit nila kanina. They take their first tower. Kanina, sobrang hirap nilang kumuha ng tore. Pahirapan talaga. But now, things are looking a little better for them compared to a while ago. We've seen this type of, uh, no, this type of uh, aggression again. OG versus LGD yesterday. Game 2. Maganda yung naging uh, pag-download nila ng ability oh. pag strats. Pero okay, ito, stun dito. The stun oh. is there and Chalice will pick up another kill. Nako si Note. Napalayo ka Note. Saan ka pupunta? Yun lang. Maganda. Oh. 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 16 health. Sa matala sa gitna. Wow! What a dodge by Nova! At nandito na si Enchantress. Thompson si will Thompson. not be able to get Nasa away or will he? Oh! 3 points! Chalice! executing members of OG left and right and this is a very important like the games na inipapanalan ng LGD and guide yung OG very important kapag maganda yung simula ni Chalice and he makes the space for the rest of his course ngayon and especially kapag yung uh, maganda niyang start ako tatransition niya sa Torre exactly itignan natin ngayon in this room na makukuha Stormless big man on campus second in network Making sure that the mid lane matchup para sa anila is favorable. Favorable against the invoker. We saw him take down with this strong pick by EG kanina pero ito does have that invisibility so hindi rin siya mawawad ito. It's not even attempting a nightmare. Say, how many times in this game, in this uh, tournament, may kita natin si Xnova with the uh, emphatic nightmare saves, oh, nightmare touch. Napaka bihasa niya on oh. this hero. The Bane Elemental, very very versatile na hero. Samantala, sa baba na ko po, si Notay na naman. Ako po, wika muna, kuya. Sabi ni Chalice. Facebook muna at uh, dead for another 20 seconds. Si uh, Notay on the Disruptor. Speaking of uh, heroes or uh, players with uh, signature heroes, Chalice. Yep. Medyo unsung siya na hero, FY Superstar. Somnus a superstar, Ame a superstar, but Chalice has been one of the more stable yep. players here. For LGD, pero naku, ito, ingat-ingat din, pare ko. Pero ito nga, Chalice, may ikipaglaban. The, the glimpse back. back, pero nasa labas. Nandito oh, na si Chalice. Mukhang may ikipagpatay ang baba. Another oh, chaotic oh. team by the OG. Nandito na si Seb, nandito na si Jerax. Nandito na si Thompson. Actually, almost our members of OG. But Chalice is fighting and he's gonna take one for Oy, the team. Nawala Nako na. Po. Nako po, umalis na. De, ayaw, na ayaw coming back. Naiwan na tayong partner mo sa dance. Na nandito na, na ito slam. Oh. Hindi enough, Jerax. Ikaw naman ang isusunod Whoa, na yun. Wow, what a body Chalice. blast from Seb. Napakagandang body block by Seb there, but... The damage has been done. And he's not done. Chalice. Gusto pa dito si Seb. Will drive away itong Underlord. Nagkamali siya dun, Bobby. Nahiwan niya yung dance partner yep. niya. And because of that, the Gyrocopter, alam naman natin, the abilities are oh, good. No. Pero nandito, Xnova. Oh. Seb will fall here. Times? Or will he? Yes, he will. Ako, okay. napakatagal naman. Makakapatay pa ata siya. Oh, na naman. Xnova once Rabbit. again. Oops. Ay. Yon, namatay. Rabbit. The burn will get him. <laughs> Finally. Malapit na sana yon. Yeah. But they get a consolation prize there, but it's two heroes for the price of yep. three. I think sobrang important na naba to yung ghost ship don ni uh, Thumbnus. Giving them that. Oh, ito na naman. Bob, nako, no tail. No tail. Medyo Ta na trap na naman siya sa sulok. Tucking himself behind the trees. While all of this is happening, Ame, the position one carry of LGD will find the space and money pero ito yung nahabol na siya ngayon double out will not connect ang tornado ni Thompson as hahabulin siya ngayon ng OG yeah. I think that for for LGD kailangan nila din uh, I think they're pretty content with what's happening right now sila yung lamang sa network ngayon of course they don't know that pero kung i-judge lang nila yung mga items especially on the Phantom Lancer it seems to me na mararamdaman nila na kahit pa na-pressure na sila sa unang stages ng game nakakabawi sila ngayon look at the recovery mula kay Phantom Lancer napakaganda indeed uh, paring Wolf no? plus Radiant they've taken an entire scan. row of tier 1 towers yes. all across the map which gives them the liberty ngayon na mag-smoke play Grabe. at maghanap ng Bugbogan Radiant will scan they'll find yep. uh, me multiple members here and then, speaking of Bugbogan, kita mo yung wards nila dito, talagang nag-aanap sila ng Bugbogan. Somewhere in the map, 
FY, long range fisher, will connect. May torrent pa? Hindi natama dito, pero hinahapon pa rin. Nakon po na pa, X Nova! X Nova na naman! Ilang beses na natin nakita yan, paring Wolf X Nova, coming in from the flank, catching an important member, Bane Elemental Lord. Grabe, at may pahuli niya atas na disruptor dito. Is it in the case now? They don't know where... They will go five man here in the mid lane. Again, they need to take towers. Global presence means very little in the face of LGD running the gamut of the map. Yep. And now, uh, okay, since si, si Notil pala is under invis dito, trailing FY, wala naman siyang legit na kill potential dito without the static storm. Signal niya, kanya, oh, meron naman si pala kasi doon. Oh, meron kasi sila na po. Castle turn no, on you oh, No, pero dito si Underlord. Nakapo, ah, gilig smack siya dito. Oh, Nandito na nga si Ami. No more glimpse, by the way. So, mahirap na tumakbo dito. Yung nakapero. Meron nga namang relocate doon. Nahuli nila. X-Mark the spot. You cannot relocate from X-Mark's the spot. And sabi ng ating pa panelista, Pro Player Tihi, oh. that is the hard counter to the global uh, presence. Oh, no. And Chance. Jerax uh, will be able to escape. Yep. No, short range and chat. Oops, what a damage. Ito na naman. Eggers mga torrent. May tas pa kasama. Kita ka dyan. Uli ka, boy. Saan ka nakakita? Yung punga mo. Meron dust. So kayo, guys. Always bring dust kahit ano pang kahit carry pa kayo. Diyos ko. Natawa ko. Natawa ko sa sinabi mo doon, Bobby. Pero ito. Sixty gold lead for LGD. And... We've, we've seen this kind of momento and tempo coming in from this LGD squad. Ang tanong nilang talaga is, can they close it before Ooh, is, makaka, ano? Wait lang. Is, tama ba nakikita ko parang bow? Third lowest. Topson Invoker. It's a hard, hard life oh, there for an Invoker. There is a reason why Invoker players are few and far in between. Mm -hmm. Because when you fall behind, you stay behind on this hero. Definitely. Naspatan na naman sila dito. Naspatan na nakita na naman sila. They need to back away from Xnova. Si Xnova naglalaro siya sa... Essentially sa base ng kalaban. Every time. And it's probably why LGD are always finding his skills. Yes, it's just that's the map control na kailangan nilang gawin dito. Otherwise, OG can farm wherever they want and then teleport gank wherever they want. So they need to contain them, let them feel the pressure in their own house. And then slowly but surely take the towers that are here in the top lane. It looks like there's an equator here. There's an equator here. Landing on one. But Chalice, the people are dead. He's 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 dead. But in the round, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Dark Rift, not a lot that they can do without the X mark to bring him back and root him into place. So, look at this, yung ating Underlord, wala pa siyang Crimson Guard niyan, pero he is tanking through all of the damage mula doon sa Phantom Lancer. Probably miss, mamaya, kailangan magiging worried pa siya doon sa damage naman ng Konga. Hindi mo na yung Chantress now. Speaking of damage, Dallas, however, will be slowed just enough that he will not be able to land the hits. Konga with the Shadow Blade. If Thompson shows himself, this is gonna be pretty bad. Oh, yun na ho, nagpakita siya, pero again, uh, Samnus will not be uh, be very aggressive doon. Napakaganda so far. But again, OG still has a way back in. Makikita natin, paakyat ng paakyat, paunti ng paunti. And a late game invoker is still very, oh, no. very uh, no, scary. Pero yun, nakahuli nila rito. Pero medyo makunat na paunti. Makunat pa yun, the doppelwalk. Doppelganger will be there ah, for huli pa rin. Siya. They found him finally. Yep. OG finding an opening here. They needed to commit everyone. Yep. But... You know, you were you were talking about the late game, Pao. Tingin mo ba? Who, who, who would you favor the late game dito sa Lyra? I think in this situation, I will favor the the team with the Phantom Lancer okay. and the Kunka. Okay. Because that's a go. lot of, ano, that's a lot of late game damage na different that's sources. That's true. However, if OG managed to get back in, dahil kahit na they don't have control of the map right now, it's not like they're very, very far behind. Yeah. They will have the team fight control. Yeah, I agree. So it's BKB is very important for LGD as the game goes on. Definitely, BKB is very important for LGD. 
not only that, pati yung management nila nung kanilang mga BKB charges did for sure. Especially their usage. Oh, attack by Drogato. Uy, napagod o. There is gonna be the hold down, but the Glicks will only catch one. Pero boy, Echo Slam! Libreng, libre ang Echo Slam. Pero, hindi nila, hindi nila makakuha ng counter kill doon. Ito na si Somnus, ito na yung bida. Gusto niya si Ana. May torrent na naman dito. May X-Mark, meron na rin both. Huli ka, boy! Pero hindi pa enough yung damage because of Jerax to stay. They still try to take down this gyro counter and they win. Uy, naiwan na naman ang dance partner niya and Toxon also falls across the map. So that is two cores yep. down on OG once again. But, you know, it makes me wonder, si Nolo kill nung ating uh, PL, yung invoker. So it seems to me that that PL had also had dust. He did, he Pero did naka, indeed. Oh, okay, oh. sorry guys. It doesn't matter kung support kayo or carry, kailangan nyo ng dust. Samantala, ito na huli na si Somnus Mata, X-Mark! Grabe naman yun! Sobrang fast hunts! Four staff X marks the spot and right now OG are have very very little options for hard oh. crowd control. Grabe. You know, lang ang kanilang puhunan so far. Exactly. You know the thing with glimpses, medyo papabalikin ka pa ng konting konti, di ba? Mabagal. So you kind of see your the animation. Now, the thing with X mark the spot, pwede mo siya kasi sarili mo na mabilis na mabilis and Kangka was able to get out. Pero tingin ko, important din yung four staff nun eh. Important, important nga rin talaga paring Wolf Null. Hindi siya na follow up to. Pero yun na nga, OG now are feeling the pressure. It's a very different game ngayon. 20 minutes in and a lot of towers have fallen or are being chipped down. Pero ito, ito tama. Pinakatamang ginagawa ng OG dito paring Wolf Null. They are looking for the economy when they can. Correct. Correct. Otherwise, they will stop being competitive in this matchup. Yep. So, I like, I like. if they need to get back here, they need one of their cores to be able to take a fight. Yep. And if they get one of those scrappy fights ulit, maybe they can turn things around. Nako po, nahuli dito. Yung Disruptor, akala niya nakahuli siya na kuka, pero hindi. It's gonna be the other way around. That's no tail down. Tala dito. Agad, Big Daddy no nice tail will be tail. deleted. Nako, aalis Nako. muna. Aalis Bye. sila doon. Jerax might fall. Iya-attempt ba niya yung TP? I think that's still the goal. Ayun, nahanap na ni FY. Hindi na niya kaya. Hello, pare. Glimmer, Cape, okay. But, ah, puli ka pa rin. No chance for Jerax to survive. Killing spree now for Sondos. Yup. Ang mahalaga naman doon, naligtas niya yung gyrocopter niya. Sa tiyak na kapamahakan. Samantala, ang LGD course ay, ah, Naroon ng napagandang time dito sa ating laban. You can see Phantom Lancer, yung Kungka, even yung offlaner nila. Top of the network chart. So, if you're LGD, content ka naman sa game. Or do you think, maring pao, do you think that LGD should force fights? Or masaya pa sila dito na i-drag yung game for a little bit? I don't think that they should force fights. Kasi that's one way that they can lose their advantage paring Wolf. Lalo na kapag napa-force sila. At napamali sila ng pasok. What they should do is, ganito lang, rinse and repeat, get their objectives, make the rotation, kill off a farming na core. Kasi one thing na that's keeping uh, keeping them at bay is, hindi sila sigurado kung kaya na ba makipaglaban na itong gyrocopter. Yep. Ito ngayon, makikita mo, top to so try and push the tower here, pero madedenay pa. Oo, denay sa mukha. Sa madala na uli siya dito ni Sotos. Nakakita ka na ngayon, pero meron pa silang detection. Wala, Wala na silang na. dust. Marami na siyang item. Core na talaga siya. Core na talaga siya ngayon. <laughs> Yun lang. But, FO, uh, uh, Xnova wants to say something else. Nahuli nga lang siya dito. Could be a kill onto the Bane. Medyo, medyo matagal-tagal. Langan nilang inugugol dito, but it's fine. And that is gonna be a kill. There nga lang. Oh. Pero, ta nakita mo yung ginagawa niya, di ba? He's putting those wards here. Kasi parang nakapansin nila na nandito lang palagi yung OG. Yeah. So they need to get an objective, make the rotation into that side of the jungle. Otherwise, they can find themselves in an unfavorable position. Gyrocopter, di na, ano yan, very... Pag mali yung laban nyo, nasa choke point kayo, kahit, yeah. na kahit na in the lead kayo in terms of items, sometimes they can pull yeah, off the For sure. Oh, Somnus, meron siyang haste rune dito. Nagahanap siya ng target. Not find any just yet. Medyo sinusumuan niyang umiwas sa mga sentry bars. So far, he's been doing a great job. Hindi nga lang, he will give up on the kill. Oo, oh, saan? Nagpakita na rin siya here in the mid lane. Pero ito, top lane naman. OG splitting the map. Again, getting the economy where they can. Mm -hmm. And going, they're going to try to get a fight later on once they hit their next round of items. There it is. Ito yes. yes. na, the rotation that we were talking about, paring Wolf. Four-man squad without a PL. 
definitely a kill threat. Sa kahit sino man, unfortunately, wala silang matatagpuan dito sa may baba. And the BKB, na katulad ng pinag-usapan natin, sobrang crucial. Eh, makukuha nga di, nakuha na dito ni Kungka, pretty soon dun sa PL. Pero, speaking of items dito, pa rin, sobrang, sobrang na-amaze ako. Kay FY at kay Jerakson, how they are very creative Radiant with the Aghanim Scepter on Earthshaker. Definitely, makikita mo, ang dami nila uses sa Swiss Army Knife para sa anila. Yes, sir. Naku, LG. Uy, makikita nila. Ka, Nasta, napakataas na. Uy! Uy! Okay. Oh, parang okay. nagkamali si, uh, parang ano dun. Sabi next lava. Oops, wait ka lang. Pero si Tote, TTP, si Ame, abot ba? Yes! Uy, umabot pa. Pinoy na Pinoy, nagtira pa ng ulam. Face of shame. Oh, pero they will be able to secure the Roshan now as without their uh, supports and without their item timings, they cannot really uh, contest. Yeah. Ita naman natin, no? we called the we called the BKB. Nandito na yung BKB nila. Yeah. We called the gyrocopter farming and nandito na yung farming. Exactly. The question now is how do LGD want to play this match? Well, Ang tatanungin muna natin dyan ay eh, OJ dahil gusto nila contest Tornado Hits on many members of LGT. Tatlo, in fact, at tatamaan sila ng EMP. This arm, ito ating uh, enchantress, but he's still pretty courageous dito. Oo, oh, ayun na naman. Sabi ni Xawa, parang pinaks out ata niya, pero mukhang napalayo si parang Chalice. Si Chalice. Jerax is already there. Spirit Vessel, tapos Cold Snap, tapos may slow ba ng Ice Wall. Pero tatamaan oh! sila ito ay naka-face grip. Kilasa na, they want Thompson, and they will get him. Samatala, Ana, Ana activated the BKB. The Kaso wala siya mamatay, ang bagay niya pa tayo si Chalice dito, ginamit pa yung bike doon kay Jerax. Uy! Si Merilo, iniwan ni Somnus. Iniwan ni Somnus na ka. Meron, meron. Na, Wala pa, silang vision. Ito na, ang tatapos. Oh, Ako okay. na ang uubos dyan, kuya. Finally, and now, Ana, without a choice, kailangan niyang bumili ng TP and he will teleport himself to safety here. The rest of OG are still in this area, but they will be stunned into place. Another Double kill zero. going the way of PSG LGD. Tatlo ang kanilang nakuha doon. Yung antics dito ni Chalice, catching OG off guard, medyo na ano sila eh, na off their feet, I guess. I can't look for the turn, pero parang medyo nagugulo sila eh, like that. Like flat that engagement. Oh, nakukuha sila, flat footage, oh. medyo hindi masyadong pabor. They are in the fights, but in awkward positions. Exactly. Especially dun sa kaninang laban kung saan nahiwala yung invoker. I mean, it was a good angle, angle for uh, Tornado EMP. Pero nahuli nga naman siya doon ni Chalice kasi well, literal na naglakad matatag lang dito si Enchantress. Pero dahil doon medyo delikado pa rin ito paring Wolf. Well, 13k now on uh, the Gyrocopter. Yep. We saw him stand this ground in the middle of the fight. He did manage to get some exit kills. Yep. And that was because Ana is one of those players na hindi mo pwedeng pabayan. Hindi ka pwedeng kumpiyansa laban sa yep, kanya. Definitely. He may lose the early stages. Oh, but, uy! Ano ba naman yun? Telepathy! Grabe! Mapaklots, pero mukhang mapapalit siya dito. There's the static storm. May pit of malice na rin. Pull the down door, is here. Nakaganda na lamang save. Wala kay Exnobo. In comes the ghost ship. Ame here. On to Jerax. Pero pinalipat din sila dito. Seb, what's my tracking through it all? Kaya nga lang, napatay na yung Ayo. Wala na silang sustain. Oh, Ghost oh, slap! Down is the Thompson. Patay yung info ko dito. Patay yung gyro after. Seb, dalang. Seb, dalang. Seb, dalang. Seb, dalang. Seb, dalang. Apat ang napatumba in exchange for one LGD with a team fight. What an echo FY slam. FY using the echo slam just to keep Topson na nasa likod lang. Bato siya ng bato. Keeps him in place, kills oh, him off, and then no. uses the fissure pa to catch another two. And just like that, LGD will break apart the wall of OG heroes that's been keeping them away from the base. My goodness. Mid lane ngayon, magtutulak para sa LGD. And let's see if they're going to try and force some decisions from OG as they make their way to the high ground or will they just go and secure the jungle areas. Nakita mo, there was a good ex Nova say. Mamaya makikita natin yan. But we'll try to go to Chalice. Chalice is... Very tanky na ngayon kasi may Hood of Defiance na siya and Pike, kita mo yan, yung x save. Tapos nandito na yung Ghost Ship. Now, ito na yung problema for OG. Ang hirap na nilang patayin because of the RAM. Ngayon, kahit pa sabihin natin mataas yung damage ni Ana, it took them so much time. And Echoes lang dito mula FYE. It doesn't matter kung isa lang yung katabi niya as long as makatrol niya yung, enough, eh, yung important na hero. And makes me wonder, ba, sobrang gustong gigil mo matay yung... <laughs> gigil, Jerax, caught yeah. out of position once again. And without that wisp, Player. Yeah. 
Napakahirap ng buhay ng mga OG scores ngayon, especially because they're trailing behind. Mahita mo naman, Phantom Lancer, another damage item, pukleta na sa kanya. MPB, sunod na ikakasa, dito ni Ame. And I, I have to say, nung laban na rin na yun, paring Wolf, napakaganda nung ginawa ni Chalice to start the fight. And they forced OG yep. to react to the fact that na-catch out yung kanilang uh, underlord mm. player, si Sebastian. Grabe din yung, grabe rin yung feel yung pagiging mechanical player. Pero mamaya na, si FY dito. So, lumapat kayo no tail, kaya mag-isa siya. Actually, what was that? There was a glimpse after the blink out. So, napabalik siya dito. Pinigit na tag siya. No tail. Pinahanap na siya. Makakapag-GP out. No more turret. Uy! Uy! Tamo dito na. So, Ito lang din sa sabi ko kanina. Siguro nagtatawit na wala naman sentry ward. Ayaw mong pagkwento ay dahil hinahabol din dito si Chalice. Yun lang Yun na lang. dito na hinahabol the global presence. Grabe. Meanwhile, X Nova mamamatay sa mid. Chalice okay. however may okay. kipaglaban okay. pa. Buhay, Buhay pa rin. Buhay pa rin. Kalaban naman. Kalaban naman. Kalaban naman. Mukhang, mukhang tingin ko back muna tayo parang Jerax. Sabi niya, pre, sakit. <laughs> Ang mahirap dun kapag nabatuhan siya nung uh, impetus habang yeah. nakatether away siya eh. So here's the thing. Kanina no si Chalice yung managalakot siya, wala silang sentry wards pero alam niya na may tao doon kasi may nag-block sa kanya and he knows and eto naman si Thompson did nagtas agad to, nandito Grabe. si Somnus huli ka na naman Yon X-Marks na spot saan ka pupunta samantala si uh, FY dito hinahabol si Note nandito na si Ampe 500 Phantom Rush Rage does it for the PL dalawa na yung patay dito sa OG talk Dan about global when you have the global lineup but LGD looks for the fights in two areas yep. at once. Oh, Mukhang may hirapan kayo. Okay, may ikipaglapad. Mamang Ame. And I like the SNY build dito. Alas yung the fight ako po, nakahuli na naman. Stop Another us. one! Kabinus! Kabu! Line them up and knock them down as the Koka takes another hero out of the map here for OG. Kami. With this fighting build. Susunod na niya yata dito yung kanyang Heart of Taras. Kailangan nito oh, gawin yun lang na nahuli. FY. Nahuli si Seb dito. Nandito na. Nandito na ang Enchantress. Seb, na, oh, kailangan mo na umalis. Seb, kailangan oh, mo na umalis. Oh, oh, Nandito. Oh, Nakawala pa. Maganda. Oh, And Ame might die. No, yun, yun. Inalis. Kamuntikan ng ma-trigger yun. But, uh, okay. Sun Strike! Sun Strike! Sun Strike! Thompson! There you have it. Clay Thompson for three oh. as they take off. Clay Thompson. <laughs> True to his name. He ages away from Pero, LGD. Walang Sir Chip. Si Somnos kumugusto dito kay Ana. Kailangan niya i-activate yung BGB. Or else masustan siya. At hindi niya yung ginawa na ako po. Nandito naman pala si Jerax. Nandito na rin yung rest of OG. BGB activated by maybe. Okay. They uh, will try to back away. Tamang back na po ata. Tamang back na po ata. Pili ko back na. Pili ko back na. May static storm. Kaya lang ako manigta sa tatlaw. Meron na rin. Static storm. At nahuli nila dito si Notel sa may bandang kanan na ako. Na-pick apart na naman sila. Kuya Pao. They have now. Naku, sun strike ulit. Not this time. Ward lang ang kanyang tatamaan doon. And now LGD will use the uh, X marks again. A very, uh, it's a very versatile skill na kanilang ginagamit dito. They'll try and heal up and they will stay on the north side of the map here. Gabi yung aksyuna na ang pares ating kratin dito. Is this actually good for LGD that they keep the pressure on but, you know, not overextending. Parang sobrang definitely. little skirmishes lang eh. Definitely, definitely paring work. The moment that they overextend their welcome, we saw how OG can use everything to their to their advantage. Every yes. resource they have, throw it, all of the buybacks, para lang ma-wipe yung LGD. Yeah. And they are not going to put themselves in that position. Otherwise, yung 12k gold lead nila will shrink down to 4k, yep. to 3k, to 2k, until OG yeah. will once again overtake the light game. Nakita natin yan sa previous game, especially dun sa kanilang final match of the day yesterday. And you don't want that to happen again if you're LGD. Tala. BKB is... Then the next for Ayo, okay. BKB Ayo, only Jerox can do it. Kailangan na ata baaring Wolf eh. I agree. Na uh, ano siya eh, na masyado siya nabobosit dito. Now Somnus, once again, Naman. will find oh, him sakit. and... It's Chalice. Chalice. Yeah. Oh, oh. Nice assist. Nice assist, malaki Chalice. 14k gold lead 33 to 17 LGD mm -hmm. once again steam oh, rolling no. but no one na naman nakakita na naman na nila yan can they actually kaya the change stunts will be there okay kaya, kaya naman pala kaya kaya to support 
two supports. Taking down the yep. gyrocopter, helicopter man. Eagle One will go down here. Grabe. Black Hawk down. Nandito na ngayon na LGD. Now they are in Grabe. a prime position to push. Only Thompson ang kayang mag-defense together with Seb. But two lanes na naman ang itutulak. Yep. Just like in the EG game natin kanina. Say, Hanik picked up by Ame. Pinatulog dito yung Underlord para walang defense sa X-Marks na spot. Nakarinig ko na naman. Nahuli din na naman si Thompson. Nahuli ka naman. Okay, Thompson naman. is down. Wala siyang buyback. In, speaking of buyback, yung buyback dito si Gyrocopter. But can they defend only the four of them? Helicopter man, may magagawa ka ba? Oh, no. Ame, here in the bot lane. BKB. BKB hana. Jerax, saan ka pupunta? Nah, Samo na may Glimmer Cave siya dito. But the BKB on the Ame with the Satanic as well. Uy, Hapag si X-Nova. Pumamatay. Oh. Natama ng ligaw na rakit dito. Samtalo si Chalice. Screams up the kill on to the main. Sama mo na rin si Jerax. Pero Uy! Glimmer Cave to save himself. Hindi nga lang nasutan si Ana Wala dito. Wala nang BKB. Kapo ni Ame. Ana, That's no buyback! Good boy! Wala kang buyback, pre! Bravo po! Facebook ka muna. Samtalo na si Sam dito. Nahuli na naman. And the damage is just way too much. Four heroes down, another buyback. What can they do in the face of such unrelenting assault from the Chinese lords here as LGD will take down the bottom tier three? Nandito ngayon, LGD will try and end this game. Ayon na nilang. Madala pa sila into a late game situation. 35 minutes into the matchup. Sebastian trying his best to push out these lanes. He used the Crimson Guard to keep their, their structures alive. But now Thompson, Thompson nandito na ko po, no. hindi siya pwedeng mamatay dito pare. But Ame is actually gonna find the rush into that invoker sa may, sa may doppelganger pala yun. There's the glimpse back, static storm na rin. Baka mauli na rin si Ame. Again, wala na siya. He's going to stand his ground! Pero may satanic! Grabe! The satanic here! The BKB is up! Nagdi na may ipaglaban! May ikipaglaban na sa police may nila, kailangan nyo nang dumapa, but no. Oh, Eto, mapapabak na muna sila, ayaw nila mag-overextend, they nah, learned their oh, lesson. Huli ka, overextension ba? Eto sila, Echo Slam, Echo kinapit Slam! na rin. Nahuli na naman sa ito, Fisher sa dalawa. Habang sinazone na nila dito yung mga members ng OG. GT are taking the towers, the barracks. Tornado, Desperate Nashway. defense now, um, Ame trying to end this game together with Somnus, but Satanic. they need to get back. 10 seconds left for the gyrocopter to come online and OG managed to defend their base but they've lost a lot of resources doing so. You know OG, binan nila yung spec but they forgot the favorite hero yeah. talaga ni Ame. How many majors na yung naipapanalo ito or napaabot sa grand finals? The Ame Phantom Lancer, kitang kita natin kung gano siya ka boss dito sa game na to. I mean, even up against three members of OG, sobrang low na niya, may static storm, all that jazz, ang ginawa lang niya sa Satanic, sabay hampas. He was able to win it for his name. Now, oh, Thompson, landing na na, deleted off the face of the earth. Samantala, uy! Asomnus is now on oh, oh. a mega kill. Eto na ba? Nandito pa rin. Another fight here. And Ana so, is Mr. in the back line. Oh, ah, no. Hanapin siya. Ame was looking for the kill, but no, now, they will oh. settle for Jairus. Samantala, si Seb, nasa gitna na naman nalaman may Dark Lips siya dito. Pero matatakbuhan ba niya? Yes! Yes, he will. He will. But at dito, wala X Mark! Dito ka spot. muna! Uwi ka na, di na kami galit! Hindi na kami galit indeed. Pero mapapapacebook pa rin si Paring Sebastian dito as LGD now. Minuto. Have finally oh. exhausted the buybacks. Only the IO has a buyback now. But not the kind of hero that you expect to mount a defense here. They do have the gyro, but LGD, they have an army. Kaya, ah, yan yung ba ni Ana dito? And take a look at that. Pare, tinatayuan na lang nila yung flat cannon ni Ana. Exactly. Without the rest of his team, Ana, ako, abot. Ako, 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 in the naman. fountain, hindi na umabot, and now only now tail on the disruptor together with Ana. And it looks like game two will belong to LGD. GG will be called. And LGD, sabi nila, hindi complete sweep to. We'll take complete. it back, and we will win it. This of course, is four. a finals that's worth watching. Hindi pwede, hindi napapayag si FY na matri zero siya. No. Once again, away from the ages. It happened in EI4. Kung may kita mo rito, the players leaving LGD, looking more confident. OG taking it in stride. 1-1. One, one.
na lumabas na. And heading to game number 3, I think na medyo kailangan nilang isipin yung mga heroes na Earthshaker. The yeah, Enchantress from both teams and also the Phantom Lancer, I would say. Marami silang, uh, marami silang natututunan from each other in this fight. They've seen how important it is for LGD to use their ability to lane perfectly That's and true. take towers. If they're able to get that game plan, it is very hard to stop a rampaging LGD team. But on the side of OG, even if they had to sila, they're very, very good at getting those resources para to true. remain competitive in the match. That is true. And you know, speaking of resources, I think na importante nung kahit na yung top lane dito ng LGD, they are still getting the economy battle by getting the CS. Definitely. Well, for sure, marami pang masasabi yung panel natin. So, at that, we were your casters. I'm Sam Nobeto. He's Paolo Bago. Babalik natin yan <laughs> sa mga panel natin. And just like that, game.